This is a video called Not Nicotine by Kouta Ohashi. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I cannot read Japanese, so I ran it through Google Translate, and it says, Techniques made to practice Nikoichi. There are many simple techniques, so you can use it as a reference. Nikoichi is difficult. So I assume that Nikoichi is a very complicated technique, and this is some sort of video that breaks that technique down into each of its individual components and probably mixes those components together in different ways. So let's see what we have. Not Nicotine by Kota Owashi. So already we're seeing some really nice uh, technique here. Um, this bit where he's passing, sorry, this bit where he's passing these two back and forth. So he's doing a box pattern. This ball goes up and down, this ball goes up and down. He's passing these two back and forth, but to do it, like this is, is really difficult because they maintain their alignment and then he switches up the alignment. So you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. So he passes them back and forth. They maintain that orientation with one another and then he changes it up. Wait, hold on. I think he, I think he actually swaps these two around while this ball is in the air. Yep, there it is. Oh man, wow, that's nice. And then boom, changes the orientation. Now they're now they're vertically uh, oriented like that, and he keeps that that same vertical orientation going. So he does the swap, then changes the orientation, keeps the pattern going. Man, that's nice. And that's the opening. That's the opening of the video. So this this technique, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what else he does with it. If that's your opening, if that's your first. Uh, 30 seconds of the video. Okay. Oh, wow. I squeeze at the end. So let's let's go back and see what he's doing here. This is really fascinating. Okay, so it looks like a four ball pattern. Grabs the two, turns them, throws those two, catches those two, kind of like a, a shuffle or slam. But here, okay, so these are the original two. He splits them up and only takes one of them in this hand. Boom, takes that one, yes. Slams them back down. Up, grabs one of them, but not the other. Slams it back down. Yeah, that's nice, that's really nice. I'm liking this a lot already. So clean. Look at how clean, how how clean those lines are. He maintains. He he's like he rotates this shape so that it goes from here. To like over. <laughs> he's got an entire pyramid, just casually going back and forth, back and forth. I love it. This is this is fantastic.
what I like about a lot of what he's doing is I'm getting the impression that I could probably play around and do a couple of these variations right off the bat just because I, I, I like these four ball multiplex kind of variations and I'm, I'm pretty practiced with them. Um, but the aesthetics are so nice. Um, you know, it's kind of like the difference between being a composer and being a, a, a player of an instrument, right? So people can play musical pieces, um, but it takes really someone special to compose a musical piece. So to, to compose all these different patterns um, is something I really respect as a juggler. So hats off to you. This is great so far. So th this technique of catching, of catching the props against your body, kind of like trapping them against your body. Let me see if I can catch them doing it here. So yeah, you see how he kind of, kind of catches them against his body. This is something that a, a couple of jugglers that I really like do this. Uh, Zach McAllister does this. Uh, Haruno Juggler on Instagram, he does this kind of variation where he, he traps and balances the, the, the juggling balls against his body. It's a really neat effect because it's like having an extra set of hands that allows you to create all these cool shapes that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to do. Um, and it's, it's technique heavy. You really have to practice this stuff. Again, the, in this, just this, this move that he's doing right here, it looks like all he's really doing is just kind of, he's catching two in one hand, he's doing a little turn of his hand, it's a little flourish, but aesthetically, the overall pattern, it just adds so much to it. And again, to, to be the kind of person who invents this sort of movement, who invents these sorts of tricks, I, I gotta take my hat off uh, for the creativity it takes to do it. And then the technical expertise um, to execute it. The, the whole video so far, you know, you hear this like really low key kind of background lo-fi music playing and the juggler himself is just very calm, very relaxed as he's executing these these tricks of, of various technical uh, difficulty. So this is, this is fantastic. I really like this. a lot it, it's it's almost like um some sort of like cascading water falling down a bunch of rocks very very poetic kind of movement i like that Yeah, so that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. And the description certainly fits the video. It looks like he's he's using a very difficult technique and he's just 
broken it down into all sorts of little variations, dozens of little variations. And there's an invitation to other jugglers to play around and experiment with this. This is something that I feel like I could actually spend a lot of time on because in my personal time, I like to practice these kinds of three and four ball juggling moves where you're kind of multiplexing. That's, that's with two or more in one hand. And he's, he's got some really interesting ideas to develop here. Uh, so great video. I'm going to go and of course, oh, look at this. I get to be the 100th person who likes the video. This must have been an accident. Someone, no one dislikes this. 100 person to like the video. And I'm going to subscribe because that's what you should do. When you see a juggler that you like personalized, I guess that's right. So all right. They always say ring the bell. I never know which one. Um, and then public comment. liked what happened toward the end of the video yeah, right around 246 so one thing I do when I comment on a juggler who doesn't speak English is I try to go into Google Translate and take my comment and translate it into whatever their language is. So I believe it's Japanese. So I'll copy this and I'll paste that and I hope that's the correct translation. Of course I can go translate it back. Huh. Like close enough through a rock or over a rock, I guess. I don't know. I don't speak any Japanese. I certainly can't read it. Okay, so there you go. Comment. All right, that was a great video.